What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy, and I'm coming at you with a brand new installment of the G Gundam Reviews. Oh, I know, it's been two weeks. It's been far too long, darlings. Yeah. And I have to issue another correction. Yet again, I was wrong on which was the next episode. No, this is a just, just a simple love story episode. And an episode that builds on the... DG cells, the Dark Gundam cells, and the self rep replication. I can speak English. Okay, I can speak American. But this is it's a simple episode. It builds on the DG cells, which were introduced last episode. I'm going off the top of my head here because it's been a little while since I I. Uh, caught up on all this because I want to watch every episode as I do the review even though I did jump ahead and watch some of my favorite one of my favorite arcs but that that's neither here nor there and I hope next week well yeah next week because yeah next week is the beginning of a really good arc I hope I could be wrong again Chances are I am wrong because I've been wrong several times now. Anyways, this is just a simple love story. and builds on DG cells. And what they are and how they work. So why don't we just get into the episode, what, shall we? Let me, get, let me get you over here. Yeah. See? I can do this. So we open on a town. Just, just a normal town in Turkey as it rains. And our... Our, uh third party or you know the the narrator comes out and says says some stuff about rain and how it's a it washes away the past causes grief to sometimes come up or cleans away the wounds and stuff like that and we get a look at neo turkey's scythe gundam and a man walking away covering his face excuse me Anyways, and the rep the narrator, guy who's never na excuse me again, a guy who's never named, kindly says, points out that today's episode is about a man and a woman and their muddy past. Yeah, it's basically just an old love story that doesn't really get any proper ending, and we never really get to see the this dude come back, but. Yeah, it is what it is. Some building on rain in her past. We haven't really got any rains, pa much of rains past. Just bits and pieces here and there. And we get our announcement. Today's fighter is, ne yeah, if I can get it right, is Scythe Gundam from Neo Turkey. Man, the, the moment I saw this weapon, I was like, oh, this is Turkey. And then it was, yeah, it was Turkey. I was right. Let's get ready. Reunion in the Falling Rain. That's right. That That's the name of this episode. I definitely didn't have to just play the episode in my, in my own little thing here just to make sure I got the name right. Yep. Didn't have to do that. So we open on Rain standing here in the rain. Man, that's going to happen a lot. As she's talking to this old man and she's informed that... You know, just a few days ago, their Gundam, their nation's Gundam, went on a crazy rampage and destroyed part of the city, and nobody's seen it since. She then sees the military, you know, well, the police force, the military seeking them out. We then go to Domon, and they're just, they're just wandering around. They're trying to find the fighter and figure out what the heck's going on. We get Rain continuing to move on, and as she's looking up, she sees a man stumble to his feet. Well, stumble. Rain calls to him and says, hey, are you okay? Man starts turning. She notices the man and realizes who the man is. As he falls to the ground, she goes running after him. Oh, no, she didn't notice him yet. She runs up to him. To be fair, if you got a good look at the guy's face, you probably start thinking, hey, I know you. But she runs up to him as he's on the ground. She lifts him up. And that's when she notices who he is. 
and Domon stumbles upon her holding the man as our love triangle commences. I gotta be honest with you. The love stuff is kind of boring. Because Domon gets super jealous in this episode. Very protective. And then you got the new guy who's Sate. Kind of sounds like Slate half the time, but Sate. And yeah, I, honestly, it's a nice little story, but kind of boring. Kind of wholesome. But Domon sees them and Rain says that she's going to take care of them. So they go over to a hotel. She and Sate begin catching up with one another. And Domon's laughing back, being like, oh, this is no big deal. They know each other. Then he knocks over his jacket, and out comes a gun and a Gundam control device, or a Gundam key, I think it was called. In that, Domon is starting to question who the heck is this guy and why does he have a Gundam control thing. So instead of barging in, he wants to go investigate himself. While inside and doing everything, while Rain's taking care of Sate, they begin reminiscing about the past and how much they once uh, they, they once loved each other, essentially. But before that, D Rain says that she's going to take a look at uh, Sate's condition, lifts up his shirt, and as you can see here, she finds DG cells or Dark Gundam cells. She becomes very terrified and flashes back to basically a conference that she had on Neo Japan where her dad informs that says that after everything happened, they went through all of Dr. Kashu's stuff to try to find out any information on the Dark Gundam. And they found a disc in it. They show a description of Kyoji and Dr. Kashu injecting a mouse with the DG cells. And what it basically is, is pretty simple. There are stages to the DG cells. Stage, basically they only give us two stages, but you can see as it progresses. Basically, when the cells first start, well, they explain what the cells do. They, I'm trying to think how to properly describe this in layman's terms because they use a bunch of big people words that I ended up figuring out and now I'm stupid and I can't remember it because they use a bunch of big words. But basically, it starts turning your body kind of metallic. It starts connecting you, changing you. It replicates like normal cells. And as it steadily reproduces throughout your body, once it gets to the brain, you become a part of the Dark Gundam. And as it's doing this, it changes your body physically. So see, as you get, you get the little cells and the once it hits the brain, you get claws. It, it, you basically become a humanoid robot. And you become one with the Dark Gundam and slaughter everything in your path. Yeah. You become a mindless monster. So... If you have, it, it, I would suggest probably, I'm probably going to up here somewhere link back to the at, past episode where you went up against the Neo Egypt guy who I cannot remember his name off the top of my head and how he just constantly wanted to fight, constantly was destroying, constantly doing all this stuff. That dead body was connected to D DG cells. So it was part of the Dark Gundam's army. And once we start one of my favorite arcs, the Shinjuku arc, you'll get to know more about the Dark Gundam Army. Well, the Dark Army. Basically, there is a way to stop it, but you have the DG cells, but you have to get it to a certain point. But all this is part of Dark Gundam's three theoretical abilities, self-replication. Self and everybody's terrified because this is how he builds his army. Now we cut back to modern day where Sate's, you know, well, modern day for Gundam. Sate's saying, you know what? Hey, hey, it's not a big deal. It's getting better, trust me. And Rain plays it off, kind of getting a little like pushy, saying, hey, I have to help you. I'm a doctor. Let me help you. And Sate 
agrees and lets her do it. Well, do it. Hey, eh, that's what she said. As they are doing the checkup and trying to take care of everything, Dumon's wandering around the town utilizing that Gundam key to figure out where the heck it's leading him. And he stumbles upon a giant mound of trash that just so happens to be hiding Scythe Gundam. Man, I'm flying through this one. It is a very simple episode. I didn't even notice the mid-credit part. It was just a very simple episode. Dumon basically sees it. We cut back to Rain and Sate. Rain is beginning to inspect the cells. Goes back to the mouse and thinks about as long as it's not up against the brain, he's fine. And as they start commencing, they look outside and they go, they start talking about when they first met. And how rain on earth is unpredictable and is nasty, but rain in the colonies is always predictable and you know when it's going to stop. And they start talking about how they first met back up on the colonies and how it was so nice and it was raining that day. And they were shocked. Wait, no, it wasn't when they first met. It was when... Well, it was when they first met and when they last met. When they last met, it was raining. They were in love with each other. Rain never showed up to this meeting. That he was going to decide whether he was going to stay a mechanical engineer student at Colony University or go off to be a Gundam pilot. Rain never showed up to their meeting, so he went off to be a pilot. And he's sad that she never shows up and starts trying to ask him, why didn't he show up? And, you know, I really liked you. She starts blushing and says, it's it's a hard discussion and it's it's I'm not ready to talk about it. She doesn't see this, but his, the dark cells start growing. They start increasing. As she's getting ready to start treating the cells, he gets up. And gets her from behind and starts choking her. And yeah, she's trying to kill her from behind because the Dark Gundam cells are telling him to. Now they haven't reached the brain so he can still snap out of this. That's important. The brain is still good. Dumon climbs into the cockpit to inspect. And what he discovers... Is a picture of Sate and Rain, two lovers from college. We cut back to Sate and Rain getting, getting all you know freak ah. And as Rain's struggling to get around, she knocks down some of the chemicals and all the medicine and stuff. That loud noise snaps Sate out. He falls back. Rain is freed and he falls down to the ground realizing that he's all messed up and he really needs help. Dumon comes rushing in to see what the heck's going on and he sees Rain cleaning up while Sate's still asleep. Basically implying that they're going to hide the fact that, that that she's really trying to hide the fact that Sate's Sate's injured and has dark Gundam cells because she knows if Dumon finds out he is going to off her, off him. He does not care. Anybody who has contact with the Dark Gundam, he is going to destroy. So he looks in it. He sees all the broken stuff. He sees she's fine. But he's worried. He says, we need to start getting out of here. He then walks over there to wake him up and notices the Dark Gundam cells. Gets all frustrated. Says, why have you been hiding this from me? She then commences to inform him what's up. Says that she needs to take care of him. He's still able to survive. It hasn't reached his brain. And Domon begins to say, I have to destroy him. They fight. And that's that. Oh, there's that mid credit scene. I didn't even notice it. I, I'm serious. I did not notice it. Domon goes out. Sees that the guards are heading around. Gets informed that they've located the spot of their fighter. So Domon quickly rushes over to the hotel where Sate and Rain are. Sate and Rain reminisce. And Sate informs 
reign of what the heck happened? How did he get infected with the Dark Gundam cells? Still don't fully know? To be perfectly honest with you? Because as you saw in the description, they injected a mouse with a syringe. Here it just happens. I think maybe a roofie was involved. I don't know. So, Sate encountered the Dark Gundam and was basically pushed back. He tried all he might could with every attack, but it was too... Dark Gundam was too strong. Basically stops his attack. Just punches him dead in the face. Pins him up against the wall. And as he's about to die and basically get offed, he wakes up. And then ever since that day, he would have blackout moments. And the last time he can remember waking up was here when he saw, when we see him destroying a city. And he said, the last thing I remember is waking up, destroying the city that I grew up in. And how awful that was. And Rain looks at him, you know, all wantingly and sad and prepares to get him to rest. And Sate's ready to walk out because he knows he's dangerous. She tells him to rest. That it's time he needs to rest. And he says, no, I'm too dangerous. He really needs to leave. And he looks back at her and says, why the heck didn't you show up that day? Did you not love me? Why didn't you show up? And Rain cannot tell him. Then Domon enters and basically informs him, hey, the, gar the city police and the army and everybody, they're here for you. And we got to go. Rain looks out and sees them. And they have all their forces, like tanks up the wazoo. Sate says, hey, I'm going to leave now because if they see me, see that you guys were harboring me and taking care of me, you know, you'll be arrested. I need to get over here. And that's when Sate turns around and pulls a gun out on them. But Domon says, hey, you're going to need these and pulls out the bullets. Sate then smiles, closes the door and rushes out, makes himself known and continues running over to his Gundam. And as he runs to his Gundam, he gets in. He gets all suited up, ready to escape. The dark Gundam cells start hurting him. And his Gundam basically breaks open. Because I'm guessing that's how it happened. The dark Gundam cells were infected into the Gundam. And slowly the Gundam infected him. I think that's how it's happened. I don't know. But the dark, the Gundam basically cracks open, cords come flying out from all directions, wrapping him up, and the dark Gundam cells start steadily advancing all over his body, and he goes berserk. And just starts offing people, like, he is destroying things, people are getting out of the way, and you get this poor schmuck who gets smashed. They don't show anything, but you, you know what happened. He's going insane, and Domon says, I have no choice. I have to battle. And Rain says, please don't kill him. He basically says, I can't I can't make that promise. Summons Shining Gundam, which I'm going to pull back a little bit. Physics in this world don't make much sense, because this, this is a fountain, and apparently Shining Gundam was inside the fountain. Who cares? I, I still love this show. Logic sometimes doesn't make sense. So Shining Gundam comes up. Domon basically says he's going to end this quick. Pulls out the sword. Goes in for an attack as Sate's coming in for attack. And just samurai slices apart Sate's arm. You start thinking the battle's won, but no, as I pointed out, the Gundam's also infected with the DG cells, and the regeneration begins. Domon says that he's going to finish this, goes in for attack, but somehow Sate knocks him back. He doesn't know how. His sword goes flying, Domon's on the ground, and Sate is now about to basically destroy Shining Gundam. And Domon's barely able to hold him back. And just before everything goes sideways, Rain climbs on Domon's chest for some ungodly reason and starts calling to Sate saying, hey, 
come on, snap out of it. We can get you help. And that works. Because the cells haven't hit his brain yet, so she's pleading with him and he can still make some decisions. And he's starting to, like, pull back and Rain's pleading with him to please stop and tells him what happened that day. And basically, the day that she was supposed to go encounter Sate was the day after... Yeah, the day after the Dark Gundam event happened. So she was immediately told by her father to return home. Domon's going to be there and we're going to need all hands on deck to basically acquire the Dark Gundam. And she was forced to go home immediately. And you, you can kind of see what's going on in the with the Dark Gundam when it affects the whole facility. And as Sate's staring down at the picture of him and him and Rain... And yeah, that, that's all the cords from the Gundam. Just taking over him. S Rain then basically says, I did love you and I still do love you. And all this pleading and mushy gushy stuff makes Sate kind of snap out of it for a moment. He falls to his ground, kind of crying, out of power. Kneels down. Domon tells Rain to get off. Stands up and Rain pleads with Domon, please don't kill him. Please don't destroy him. Please don't off him. If you do, I'll never talk to you again and I'll never speak with you again. Domon responds with, I have no choice. I have to destroy anything that that Dark Gundam has touched. Goes in for a Shining Finger attack. Immediately lights the Gundam on fire. Don't fully understand how that happens, but it happens. Domon does not completely crush the head unit. Rain falls to the ground crying. And yeah. Next day happens. Sate's in the hospital getting recovered. And Domon and Rain are outside. And Domon says, hey, are you going to stay? And Rain says, no. We've told the government that he was sick. He was undergoing some stuff. He's better now. And let the, let the doctors take care of it all. And as they walk off, Domon says, hey, I'm going to have to finish this all. And Rain's all happy to continue. And that's that. Don't get any conclusion to the whole, you know, love story. We don't know if she ever goes back to Sate. Spoiler alert, no. Sate's a one and done. Just a Gundam of the week, essentially. The upside to this episode, it explains more about the DG cells and the way they work. How the Dark Army gets, sort of gets formed. There's more to it still that we don't get until the Shinjuku arc. Which, if I am correct, and we're just going to quickly hope this loads. Just please load. I don't do this often on these reviews, but I'm trying to... Yep. That's all I needed to see. Yes, next week we finally get to Shinjuku. And the beginning of the Dark Army. And all sorts of fun stuff with that. And the introduction of my favorite character. So all in all, not a meaning, super meaningful episode. Fun episode nonetheless. I say check it out. And with that, guys... If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with all your friends. Hit, Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.